previously on The Cinematic Experience. Dude, who does not like fish sticks? Well, I think we just, uh, I think I just answered that question. You, you're one person. Well, Everybody likes who? fish sticks. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel it. Well, it's there. <laughs> Welcome back, and thank you for joining us here on The Cinematic Experience. My name is John Maxim. And I'm Cameron Daly. We're doing something a little different with this review. We're going to review three movies all at once. They are The High School Musicals. It's been kind of hard for me to judge the popularity of the High School Musical film since they're filmed here in Utah, and I can't help but notice the excessive attention they get. The movies themselves are pretty similar. Jock falls in love with Pretty Girl, who shows him his singing slash theater potential, which puts Jock into an awkward position with fellow Jock's friends and his dad, who also happens to be his coach. Other obstacles spring up here and there with attractive theater rivals, or maybe miscommunication between the Jock and his best friend, or between the Jock and his dad, or between the Jock and his girlfriend. Predictably, all of these problems get ironed out by the end of each movie, only to reappear at the beginning of the next movie. I can see how these movies can be so appealing to tweens and their target audience, which is why I am giving this a full price rating. Full price, full price. for the target audience. For the target audience, yeah. Okay. This isn't one that I... It's not uh, really adults, my adults aren't going to love this movie, no. but their kids will. And they're not going to hate it either. I didn't. No, I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it more than I thought. In fact, I found that you have to give credit to a movie that's made for TV mm -hmm. and gets popular enough from a made-for-TV movie to be to come out on the big screen and do it, do as well as it's been doing. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely thought that. I, I I found that I kind of wanted to rank the movies. Yeah. You know, and? like which ones the what best. What do you mean? Like okay, I, like I think, which one? I think okay. high school. The first High School Musical is the best High School. Really, musical. like that better than the third? I I, I did. I, I I actually cared about the story in the first one, and okay. I, I even I, I even got the chills a little bit in the <laughs> like in, like you felt the spirit. Yeah, no, no, like you mean? like you know, you know like uh, like when Free Willy jumps over the wall and he's and he's screaming. Uh huh. You know that kind of chills. Right. Yeah, that, you got that in this in High School Musical yeah, one. Just at the very the very last song <laughs> when they triumph, okay. you uh -huh. know. Mm -hmm. I, I I mean you know. And I think High School Musical two should have been called um, Country Club Musical. Yeah, they weren't even at uh, they weren't high, in high school, school at all. Yeah. I didn't like two. I ranked them uh, oh, yeah. one, one, three, and two. And two, I just thought was way too long. I thought three was the best, and it didn't have two any, was two was long. It was it, it was long. I mean, it didn't have. It I had, saw that didn't one. have enough singing. No, yeah, they they needed more singing in that one. And I noticed that High School Musical two is the same length as the new James Bond movie. Yeah. And I had a hard time in my head trying to make sense of why I'm spending two hours watching High School Musical 2, and I'm also spending two hours watching... Anyway, it was a, it was a yeah. conflict in my yeah. mind. Um, I liked High School Musical 3 the best. I, I felt like in High School Musical 3, uh, as I was watching it, the story just couldn't just wasn't capturing me and I just kept thinking I, I would just wish you'd start singing and dancing some more and it was the same yeah well it was the same problems <laughs> That's, that they get like the dad right and, like in er in every one of the three movies the dad was he's shaking worried. his head and what I am I gonna what do with my gonna son think. I <laughs> <laughs> and then he like is like uh, dad uh, I have a confession I, I like music and yeah. dancing he's like, uh, but okay basketball. yeah and yeah. every time in every movie yeah. and you know uh, I did like how the girls got hotter. I think that oh, yeah, that's this why I is like targeted the towards young girls, but I think that young boys have something there, and mm -hmm. that's the, the cute girls. That's why I like the third. Yeah, they got definitely hotter as they went up. The, shirt, the skirts got a little shorter. Yeah. The older they got. A lot got. of leg in the third. A lot one. of leg. Oof. Lots of it. Lots of leg. Now, one of the things, though, I couldn't help but think that maybe I would... When I was watching this, I thought, these guys look like they're having a lot of fun. Did you get that feeling at all when they're oh, dancing yeah. and singing? It's like, yeah. Um, How could they not? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I started thinking it would be great. First like of all, super karaoke because they're lip syncing everything. Yeah, that was pretty obvious too. But if like you know everyday life, if you it would be okay occasionally to just you know have someone just burst into song and have it be okay, like not seem weird and have other people like joining in for no reason because they know what you're feeling and going through. I thought that would be pretty cool if something like that were to happen. That so. would be cool. Soaring, flying, there isn't a star in the heavens that we can reach. If 
we're trying. Yeah, we're, we're breaking free. Breaking free. We run into climbing to get to the place to be all that we can be. Now's the time. Now's the time. We're breaking free. In a 